I do while I'm out there. Do you think the Qataris feel a sense of injustice almost? That Russia hosted the World Cup last time, they had invaded Crimea, they had annexed this territory, and there are no repercussions whatsoever. And so this time round, we're all being, oh, well, we've got to, you know, show that we do have a moral compass and that we are going to call these things out. I mean, the Qataris actually call it racism, don't they? They say that we're we're focusing on them and on, you know, the Arab world in a way that we we haven't previously. And they see it as a form of, of racism. Yeah. So there's two things going on. There's two kind of dual movements going on. One is by FIFA, who are saying it's time to put the politics to one side and enjoy the football. Right. After 10 years of discussion this from the qatari side they're saying every you know world cup olympics of the last 20 30 years there's always been issues why is there such a focus on us why are you so obsessed with us is there more to it could you all be racist right that's the kind of insinuation that i think is going on now i think if you were to make the point about russia i think a lot of people now look back and think yeah we were all a bit soft on it mm. and i think we all look back a little bit mortified really that four years after as you say Crimea, Donetsk, Luhansk all these different regions were, were grossly affected that more wasn't done at the time both from you know if you take the FIFA president Gianni Infantino around six months after the FIFA World Cup in Russia he was in the Kremlin receiving a medal and telling Putin it was the best World Cup ever right and that was after Skripal the news agents this is a global player original podcast